Hello everybody and welcome back to the McCall's Kitchen. We hope you had a fabulous summer and we're so excited to jump into the fall season with Thanksgiving just around the corner. I've got so many great products in front of me today that I'm going to be using to decorate a fall themed cake together with you all. If you guys aren't following us already, make sure to follow down below because we have so much exciting stuff coming for Halloween and Christmas, which is just around the corner as well. But let's get started here today on our fall themed cake. Today we're going to be doing a different technique that we haven't done before on the channel. We're actually going to be using a stencil for our cake today. You can grab these at McCall's. There's so many different stencils that they have available, but we're going to be going for a harvest fall theme using McCall's buttercream. We're going to be coloring our buttercream with the McCall's colors as well. And then I've got some decoration, which I'm going to add on after. Because our cake is a fall cake, I'm going to be going in with a cinnamon buttercream. So let's get started on crumb coating our cake and then we'll be back to decorate together. When we're going to be coloring our buttercream, you always want to start with your lightest color first. This just helps to reduce the amount of dishes that you'll be using. As well, if you add too much color to your buttercream, we can counteract it and add more if needed. So we're going to start by making a really nice harvest nude color. And I'm going to do that with a little bit of brown and a little bit of orange. So start with the tiniest amount first. You don't want it to get too pigmented right off the bat. And then we'll be able to use the same bowl after to make our deeper orange that we're going to be using after we're done decorating. So I'm going to start with a drop of each. And by drop, I mean the tiniest drop. With colors, I always find that a little goes a long way. Perfect. Now we can go in to decorate our cake. So I'm going to grab our cake that is currently chilling and then we'll be back to put that nice coat on. Now with our offset spatula, our buttercream and our scraper, we're ready to decorate. So let's go and put that nice layer on our cake. We're going to need to chill it again before we go in with our stencil. So once this layer is on, it's going back into the freezer. This process shouldn't take too long if you've coated your cake correctly. Now that we have our cake all smoothed out, I'm gonna pop it back into the freezer because we need it nice and chilled before we go in with our stencil. So we're gonna give it about five to 10 minutes in there and then we'll be back to color our buttercream a little darker and then go in with our stencil. Our cake is almost done chilling, so we're actually going to go ahead and color our buttercream to the color that we're going for. We're going to go back in with the orange and the brown, but we do want it to be darker, so we're going to be adding a bit more than we did last time. And because we have so much buttercream left over, we don't need a new bowl, we can color straight into this. So I'm going to add about three drops of the orange, and we'll do two drops of the brown, and we'll see how much more we need to add from there. So we've got a nice smooth base. You're gonna to wanna to position your stencil wherever you'd like it to be. We're gonna keep ours closer to the top because we're gonna be adding a border around the bottom after. So this is the way that I'm gonna be applying it. I'm going to line it up with the top of the cake. And then, like I mentioned, we're gonna be using the pins to hold it in place. So we'll put one in each corner of the cake to hold it. So now we are going to take an offset spatula and we're going to apply a very little amount of buttercream to the stencil. And then we're going to be using our scraper to scrape that off. I think we've got a nice good finish there. And now at this point, you can also go in and you can actually spray or add some edible gold. So I'm gonna spray certain parts of it with the McCall's Edible Glitter Spray. I'm gonna grab that right now. This kind of adds a nice texture to it. So I'm gonna go and spray certain sections to give it a nice gold touch. Don't wanna do it all over. All right, now for the reveal. 
Okay, wow, just look at how good that looks. I love how the glitter added a nice touch to certain areas. Now we can actually go in and finish off our decoration. So I'm gonna be using this orange buttercream to create a really nice border at the bottom. But before I go ahead and add anything, I'm actually gonna let this chill for a couple more minutes. So we'll be back in a second to add our finishing touches. For our buttercream border that is going around the cake, I've actually got my buttercream in a piping bag. It's a lot easier to control. So we're just gonna be making one around the bottom here. So you'll see me just taking the buttercream along, just like that. Now our cake is ready for its final harvest decoration. I've got some really nice toppings in front of me, as well as some Nicole sprinkles that we'll be adding. You always want to start with your biggest toppings first, so we are going to start with our pumpkin here. And then after adding our pumpkin, we can go in with some of our harvesty toppings that we have. All right, now it's time for some Nicole sprinkles. We're gonna be adding the bold 10 mm balls, and we're also gonna be adding the four mm ones. I'm also gonna go in with these fall sprinkles, which match the cake so perfectly. We'll put some at the bottom and a little bit at the top. All right, before I show you all the big reveal, I'm gonna get cleaned up and then we'll be back to see the cake. And our cake is all ready to go. I'm in love with how it turned out. The stencil, the colors, everything is just so perfect. The sprinkles, the toppings. If this doesn't scream fall and Thanksgiving, I don't know what else will. But I really hope you enjoyed watching today and you learned something new, how to use a stencil on buttercream cakes. You can grab all the supplies from the calls, colors, stencils, sprinkles, everything is available, even the buttercream. And stay tuned, we have Halloween just around the corner. So we'll be back very soon with that. Thanks for watching.